there are two ways to measure arcs on a circle. One is arc length, and one is the degree measure of an arc. We'll talk about arc length in a later video, but for now, the degree measure of an arc is basically equal to the measure of the central angle that intercepts that arc. Well, what that means is, if I have a central angle, such as in circle O, angle GOF, GOF, this right here is 80 degrees, the measure of arc GF, the arc connecting point G to point F, is exactly equal to the measure of that central angle, which is 80 degrees. They are measured in the same units, which is degrees, which is kind of convenient for us. So GF is 80. If I wanted to find measure of an angle FOE, F to O to E, well, since GOE is a diameter passing through the center of the circle, and it's a straight line, any straight line has 180 degrees in it, so I would need another 100 degrees to make up that 180. And the measure of this arc, which angle G, I'm sorry, FOE intercepts, would share that same degree measure, 100 degrees. So FOE is 100, and FE is also 100 degrees. Now, noticing GFE, well, GFE is the arc which takes up this 80 and this 100 degree angle. So GFE would be 180 degrees. Recall that we have an angle addition postulate that allows us to add angles. Similarly, we have an arc addition postulate, which allows us to add component arcs to be larger arcs. Finally, I have arc FEG, the last arc here. That would be the arc starting at F and ending at G, which passes through the point E along its journey. So it won't be that direct connection. It'll be the one that goes around the outside of the circle this way. Well, since I already know that arc FE is 100, and GE is a semicircle, meaning that it takes up half the circle or 180 degrees of the circle, then the combined arc, 100 and 180, would be 280 degrees.